Hey friends, happy June 2nd, Tuesday, June 2nd, Tuesdays. Oh, you know, I got to be honest and say that I actually kind of love Tuesdays now that I'm not teaching in school because um, Tuesdays are like this weird day and I'm curious from all my other teacher friends if you have the same experience. Every time it's a Tuesday and the kids are wild, I am always sort of befuddled and I'm always thinking, what is wrong? Like, what is going on? And then another teacher or someone will say, oh, well, it's a Tuesday. And I'm like, oh, it, duh, it's a Tuesday. Because for some reason, Tuesdays are crazy. Now, I have a theory that what happens is that kids sort of wake up on Tuesdays. I think that they're tired on Mondays. So they're pretty good on Mondays because they're still a little bit tired. And then on Tuesday, like, they've got a great night's sleep and they're just raring to go and they're a little bit wild on Tuesdays. I'm not sure, but that's my theory. In 20-some years of teaching, it just it's always on a Tuesday that things are just kind of crazy I don't know why that is but um but anyway I wanted to say uh thanks to my friends um for uh sending me such cute sweet messages yesterday I appreciated it everything's uh on hold just kind of waiting I got to go back to the doctor on Thursday we'll see how that goes I'm sure it'll be fine um but I appreciate all of the messages you sent me and um I was trying to think of something to talk about today, and um, one of the things that happened while I was uh, waiting actually was uh, the other day, um, my mother, when we when we were home to, to uh, when I was down home, um, we came in the house and there was this chirping noise, and at first I was really afraid it was like a bird that got into the house, because that's like my worst nightmare, because things like that happened to me all the time. Like one time, um, I was I was renting this house, and um, I heard this noise in the fireplace and then I opened up the fireplace door and there was a squirrel just sitting in there staring at me, like looking at me like. And so I backed away and then he jumped out of the fireplace and tried to jump out of the window that was next to the fireplace, but the window was closed. So boing, he like launched himself ricocheted off of it and then ran through the house now meanwhile my husband at the time like screamed and locked himself in the bathroom leaving me to deal with it so I had to chase the squirrel up the stairs and then try to find it in our house and then get him outside which I did finally manage to do but these are the sorts of things that happen to me all the time but anyway that's just a totally separate story it's a little separate so we heard this chirping sound and I was like oh what is that and it was um one of the fire alarms um needed or smoke detectors needed new batteries and I love every October when we do uh, fire safety month because it reminds uh, the kids of all the important things there is about fire safety and um, I was really proud of my mom for like knowing that that's what that was and that she had these smoke detectors then I got thinking about it and it's like um no wonder because when I was a kid our house caught on fire like twice that I know of there may have been other times but um the the first time our house caught on fire um, it, we had this, like I said, our house was kind of a train wreck for a really long time. Um, my parents worked super hard and now it's beautiful, but it took a long, long time and a lot of work to get our house back to kind of normal. But when my parents bought it, I mean, there were holes in the floor. You could look like through the floor down to the next floor below you, or, you know, the snow would come through the cracks in the wintertime. I mean, it was kind of a bare bones house, but one of the things that was, um, a little scary about it was that it had really old linoleum in the kitchen and the linoleum was sort of peeling and coming up in places and um the linoleum caught fire underneath the stove in our kitchen and I remember my mom yelled like Sean Michelle run to the car and get the fire extinguisher because my parents always carry a fire extinguisher in their car which um at the time didn't seem weird but as a grown-up it seems a little strange and kind of also awesome so what I remember about that day is I took off running out the front door as fast as I could to the car, opened, ripped the car door open, grabbed the fire extinguisher, ran back inside, my mom put out the fire. But here's what I remember. We had gone shopping earlier that day and um, I had gotten a pack of brand new socks, which sounds like nothing, but when I was a kid, we would get like, we would only get like new stuff, like really, really rarely, like usually in September, like back to school, we get one pair of sneakers, you know, one good pair of jeans, you know. So anyway, I just remember these new socks and I remember putting them on and thinking, oh my God, these are just heaven. And then the stupid, the stupid floor catches on fire and I have to run through the mud in my brand new white socks to get the fire extinguisher and I completely ruined my socks. And that's what I was concerned about that day. Not that the house could have burned down, but that um, it ruined my white socks. And then my house also caught on fire another time, I think, um, 
the boiler or something in the basement or the, the, the thing that made the house warm in the basement also caught fire. And I remember the smoke like pouring out of the um, basement and we had to call the fire department. It was very exciting. But here's the thing that I want to talk to you about. So besides like checking your, um, your smoke detectors and making sure that the batteries are good because you should always check that. It really messed me up when I was a kid. And so I had this really weird habit of, um, I think I got really scared that my house would burn down. Uh, because it had almost happened in my head like at least two times. So I would keep everything that I loved in a bag by the window of my in my bedroom. And I put everything I loved in there except for my one stuffed animal, my moose, Moose Seal Marie Orchid. I did keep moose with me so that I could sleep with moose, but then into the bag she would go in the morning. So I kept everything I loved in a bag by the window in case the house ever caught fire so I could just grab the bag and go. So I was like prepared. I was like a Girl Scout. I wanted to be a Girl Scout, by the way. And I know this is kind of all over the place, but this is the way my brain works. I wanted to be a Girl Scout so bad. And because mainly, well, actually, it wasn't so much that I wanted to be a Girl Scout. I really wanted to be a bluebird. Now, I know nothing about Girl Scouts, except that I did sign out the book at the library that told all the things you had to know how to do to be a Girl Scout. It's like, I think it's the Girl Scout handbook. Oh my gosh, I like memorized that book. I could have been like an honorary Girl Scout. But anyway, um, the point is I really wanted to be a bluebird like really bad. There was a point to this and I have no idea what it is now. I have no idea. Oh, being prepared, being prepared. Yeah, but I wanted to be a bluebird really bad because they had these cute little hats with this little blue bird on them. They had like uniforms and I wanted a uniform like really bad. Like I was super jealous of the Catholic kids in Olean that went to school and they got to wear the cute little skirt and the little outfits. Um, hello, I desperately wanted a uniform. Now later on when I was older, I definitely would have rebelled against that idea. But um, at the time I thought it was great. So anyway, there's some little stories. Um, I have no idea what my point was for today. Check your smoke detectors. Um, my little friends, if you are stuck for something to write about today, if you're in Brownies or Girl Scouts or in Boy Scouts, I'd love to hear all about it. I'm super jealous. I always wanted to do that. And if you're really, really stuck, hey, you can tell me what you know about how to stay safe um, in a fire. It doesn't have to be October. It's good to talk about these things all the time. So I'm sorry. That was kind of rambling and all over the place, but that's the way my brain works. It's just everywhere. So anyway, there you go. All right. Well, happy Tuesday. Uh, and I guess I'll see you guys back here tomorrow.